what's going on homies welcome back to another world war 2 video now i decided to hop on knowing that i have like one more launcher left until i have chrome i'm as you can see in the top right corner i have 30 out of 31 so i am one more weapon away from chrome and i've had the panzer strike i grinded out a lot today and uh i am left with this one challenge right here get two direct hits now this is actually going to be quite easy. I thought this is going to be my final. Actually, this actually looks pretty cool on the Panzer Strike. I thought this is going to be my final camo that I had to get because it was very rough. But I didn't know that uh, Launched was still in the game. I thought they took it out when they had that giant like specialist update like near the beginning of the game. So, Launchers deal more damage, have extra ammo, and can be resupplied from enemies killed without explosives. So, uh, I didn't have that for the Bazooka, which made the double kills literally so freaking rough like it took me three hours just to get two uh double kills I, I, because i kept going from like hardcore to shipment to regular core to different like game modes trying to figure out which one would work because i was so indecisive i got it and now i know that launch is here and we are so close we are two direct impact kills away from getting chrome and the funny part is is i've always i've always wanted to get master prestige in the call of duty game and the max camo in a call of duty game now i got max prestige in black ops 3 so i got that off the board uh i'm gonna get the max camo in this game after i get these two bloodthirsties and i've really I, i've been thinking about going for like the gold cheetah and the chrome cheetah because i'll be able to actually uh get that at that point but you know i'm 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 excited dude i'm excited so i have max prestige and max camo but they're on two different games so either if i can like grind this game until october to get master prestige on here if i can't do that then i'm for sure gonna go for head, uh, headshot camos camos all that stuff and levels on black ops 4 i'm gonna do them at the same time and uh note to myself actually uh run a launcher as your secondary because when you have to do these things like as, if these things are your only things left dude you are absolutely screwed i learned that the hard way uh i'm gonna make sure i always run a launcher over a pistol because pistols aren't too difficult like compared to launchers launchers just take more time it's not really depending on skill it's just depending on if the enemies want to put up a uav and considering there's not that many score streaks in this game that you can actually shoot down the uav and counter uav sometimes are the only streaks that you could shoot down god that was one long clip i was wondering in the middle of it how long i could like spit bull out all right, so I've been doing all these challenges on shipment, uh, core shipment to be exact. I wish I did have a hardcore shipment, uh, just for fun. I feel like I want to, I want to know how I feel with all the streaks and everything. Okay, let's meet with you, buddy. You're not too friendly. And I got that challenge done. That's nice. Also, I've been getting very lucky with supply drops. I have, uh, I think I have all, but, uh, two of the DLC sniper rifles, or I will, because I just need... 8900 cod credits whatever they're called to actually buy the final piece of the arasaka and i believe i'm 200 off of that or something like that so i'm gonna get that really soon and then the only one that i won't have after that is the des lyles or whatever it's called and then i believe ah, what's the other one? oh the ptrs that's the other one i won't have so i have like the three line rifle i'm gonna have the arasaka i have the lever action uh i have all those so i'm i'm happy i'd rather have DLC snipers over DLC ARs or some machine guns just personally I don't know I like uh, getting DLC snipers I just feel like it's fun okay so we need two boys that's all we need just two this could take hours I really don't know I could be getting like pissed off or something you never know okay not a good start okay it's all oh my god dude I am sweating me being a tryhard me so here's the problem uh you can't really getting the double kills in hardcore is actually pretty difficult for me i don't know if that, i don't think that was a direct impact but uh getting the double kills in hardcore is pretty hard for me or really getting any kill in hardcore is actually pretty really pretty pretty really pretty really really hard for me just because uh hardcore the time to kill is so it's so fast and with me being on like 70 ping like most of the time it's really a disadvantage to me but back to my uh my luck and supply job. That's an that's a direct impact. That's a direct impact. Okay, so that last one didn't count. If we got it right there. But back to the DLC weapons. Uh, I did get two DLC weapons today. I got the uh I don't have to shoot these them down anymore, but I'm going to because I support my T okay, just ignore that. So also a bad thing with this is you all you also have to like wait for it to aim in. Oh, this is it. Enemy striping my Oh my god, dude! Oh my god, we got it! 
We got it! I want to screenshot it. I want to screenshot it. Yes! We got it! Let's go! No, you don't understand. This is something that I've been grinding for since May. Like, when Kaden and I, we were like, no, let's come back to World War II. I'm pretty sure I can leave, and uh, I will still have it. So I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm pretty sure you don't lose it. I like how that game, this game uh, saves your camo, saves your headshots. Even if you do lose a game, you don't lose anything. But I've been grinding since May with Kaden. Kaden and I were like, hey, let's play World War II again. Let's just play for fun. Let's go for camo challenges. And me, in the back of my mind, I was like, I suck at going for camo challenges just because I uh, I just don't like I don't know how to aim for the head. So I learned how to do that. You kind of there's like patterns with every gun on how to like aim at the head. Like for the SVT, I think you have to aim a little bit above the head and the bullet will hit the head. So it's just like you kind of have to learn how the headshots happen. And then I'm like, okay, okay, let's just do it. And then Caden stopped doing it, and I was like, no, I'm gonna keep pushing. I was at like LMGs, and I'm like. Uh, I'm gonna keep pushing and that's that's the here's where I am today But the funny part is we decided we wanted to do this in black ops 3 But uh, I stopped midway and Caden actually finished it out. So this time he stopped midway and I finished it out So let's look I mean to be honest though, it's like chrome camo doesn't even like look that good. It's just the thought like like I grinded for this. Like let me let me actually get a good variant. I have the duck soup, so that should be a good variant of the PPSH, a little shiny variant to show it on. Oh my god, look how shiny that is. Oh my gosh. Come on, guys. We got um, let's go. Oh my gosh. This is couldn't have done it with my, without my mom, my dad. I kinda wanna see how it looked on this thing though, because I know this thing is like shiny as is. Uh, so let me take a, the camo off of it. Let me so can I do that? So like as you can see the camo is like shiny by itself <laughs> So adding chrome really doesn't like that make that much of a difference, but I, I don't know just the thought like I grinded for this. That is just awesome. So when I actually first pulled out the panzer strike I was like, okay, let's see how good this thing is. Let's see if it's a one-shot kill That went straight down like, like let's shoot it up in the air real quick. Nah, no, just decides it wants to go in circles. Like, I'm gonna, okay, I'm aiming right at the guy. Watch what the rocket does. It just goes up. It goes up. Let's do, let's do the middle one. It's just gonna go over there. It's just gonna kind of intertwine between the, the wood things. Oh, that one, it just went straight into the ground, but did get the person. That's all that matters. But I am super freaking hyped that I got chrome camo. Um, it, it, it took me longer than it should, so I started in May. Uh, which is five with a fifth month of the year. So it took me three months, which I wasn't pl I st I think I stopped playing uh, For like during June I stopped playing so it took me around like two months to get it um, Kind of embarrassing considering some people get it in like a month. Oh, I forgot you can't put cross so you uh, I have to get gold on this now. Oh my god. See here's the problem though I wish if you put chrome on it it made your gun look cleaner uh, like for instance the base car 98k it's just uh, very rusty and stuff and I wish if you put chrome on it it like, cleaned it up a little bit because I don't have any other car 98k variant that's like the, the 2 version I also have a lot of a uh, light machine gun uh, DLC the only one I'm missing is a stinger which I think this is actually a new one also today when I was playing Caden prestiged in this game so I'm like uh, I've been sitting at like I think I'm, I was sitting at prestige 3 I was like I've, I've been sitting at 55 prestige 3 this whole entire time I've been going for, for chrome just so I didn't have to unlock the weapon and then have to like level it up So I'm like eh, I have one weapon left I'm gonna prestige and I used my <laughs> Fermi unlock token on the panzer shot because I had to unless I wanted to level up Which I really wasn't looking forward to because if I was leveling if I had to level up first I think I would just unlock the panzer shot like this level so now i'd start grinding towards those camos which is really annoying but it's it's fine it's fine i got chrome that's all that matters i'm excited um was it worth it i mean it doesn't look super good but just the the feeling that it's like well i could tell people yeah i have i'm a no life that grinded for chrome camo <laughs> i don't know if that's a good thing in terms of uh, in terms of the toughest weapon to actually get diamond i would have to say it's either a fight between the sawed off shotgun the svt or um probably probably uh 
Maybe the machine pistol. No, uh, 1911 bloodthirsties were really hard to get. The machine pistol headshots were just were super hard to get. The POA was a breeze. I got that done in like um, 20 minutes. That was actually really easy to get. And then this bazooka wasn't too bad. Just the double kills because it doesn't one shot. Like if it hits the or if it hits like the ground near the person, even with launched, it doesn't. So that's a little bit annoying. Uh, I think I started talking about it earlier, but DLC weapons. I got the three line rifle, and then I also got the fire axe uh, out of the supply drop state, which that's gonna look cool with chrome. That's gonna look really cool with chrome. I just don't have it yet. Um, but I guess I can put my uh, my United skin on because that's my go-to. No, I have Tree Gate. I have the Tree Gate. That's all that matters. And this this looks really really cool. The wood panel it just kind of gives it a wood finish, and I think it looks pretty clean. Dang. I don't like how you can see the metal. I like when it when it just looks like wood. I like the guillotine too. I like that name for it too. This guy is so tall, dude. I don't understand why he's so tall. It's not even elevated. He's just a big motherfucker. I think he has to be like, I would think he'd be like six foot something. <gasps> oh no, let me do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. No, this is the stu- It's so boring. You just shoot like planes out of the sky and it's it's actually quite boring. Oh, there's tree gate. Look at this. It's literally a tree. Looks nice. So that's pretty much going to be it. I just wanted to get my reaction to Chrome on camera. I haven't been recording during the day too much. I've been like, um, well, first of all, I haven't really had to record. I just been, rec I recorded like 10 hours of gameplay for the black ops 4 beta and i just kind of been editing that at night and then making um somewhat good thumbnails i've been trying to look for good thumbnails or not looking for them but looking into making good thumbnails so um i haven't really had to make videos at all so this is like my first like video i've had to make like since black ops 4 probably so uh i want to get my reaction i overall is it worth the grind um maybe like at the beginning when you're not like worn out <laughs> of doing all the challenges it is but like by the end i'm glad i haven't done it. <laughs> so maybe it isn't worth it but just like the feeling that you do have it and it's starting to look better every time i look at it it just looks cleaner shinier um it looks like that stainless steel chrome i wish it, i wish it would have it would have been a better camo though i wish it was like really chrome like it was just a freaking mirror on your character that i thought that would have been cooler but you know, beggars can be choosers. I'm gonna go for the max camo in Black Ops 4. Uh, I'm also gonna go for the max rank in Black Ops 4. Probably not like level 1000, but Master Prestige is at least. Um, I feel like a thousand would take me longer than my intention span within a with the Call of Duty. So I don't know how people do it. But something to point out: every time I run into a level 1000 or even like a high level Master Prestige, they're always the ones that are like sitting on a heady with an LMG. And I don't know if like that's how they got there or they've reached that max level and now they're just playing for fun or that's just like the best way to get xp i didn't participate but i still got oh i, I capped one carry package that's all that matters but i feel like i'm gonna have fun editing this video just because i uh, i mean i'll be able to watch my reaction surely i mean i walked away i ran away from my desk which uh now that i think about it i probably should have just stayed in my chair so you would have gotten my whole reaction but uh you could just imagine i did a whole bunch of fist pumping and like jumping in the air uh, when I went off camera, so if you enjoyed this video press the like button subscribe for your new comment If you want some World War II, I'm not really in the mood of recording it, but I will Upload it if y'all want it which really a lot of people don't want to because it's it's honestly dead now It's dead because the competitive scene it's done with uh, congrats to EG, but the competitive scenes done with it uh, People are just getting bored of it. I, I was saying I, I was saying that I'm gonna grind it until I get Master Prestige, and I'll, I'll keep doing that. But well, yeah, I'll have to find some fast leveling up methods because I have uh, pro like around a month left. That's really all I have is a month and a half. So if you enjoyed this video, press the like button, subscribe if you're new. That's all I got. See ya. That's all, folks.